Oh my friends, uh, this video is an answer for um, a question of uh, one of our subscribers in our community, Light and Design International community, in our tele in Telegram. So um, he asked, uh, please, uh, can I transfer 3ds Max uh, file to Dialux? So uh, this uh, video is an answer uh, to his uh, question. Uh, you can find the link to this community in the description of this video. So, uh, in this video I'm going to show you the basic of uh, how to transfer a 3D object to, from 3ds Max to uh, Dialog Siva. Uh, this is an example of uh, one of my projects, uh, which I'm currently working on. Uh, this is private house, this is uh, uh, cabinet office, a private office uh, in a private house. And now I'm going to show you how to uh, transfer box. Okay, uh, so this is 3D Max, and if I make here a box, so I can transfer this object to uh, Dialog Siva, or I can download some 3D models from uh, internet um, in 3D Max format, and then I can transfer it to Dialog Siva. But there are some uh, details. Uh, let's uh, look through some details. We have two objects. Okay, and if uh, this object is uh, editable, editable poly, and if we have uh, here some edges like this, let's look on these edges. Uh, you see that these edges, uh, these polygons uh, in red. But uh, if you flip these polygons and I'm going to name it like boxes then I'm I should select uh, 3d studio format uh, this is like a uh, dot uh, 3ds format save okay here I have uh, my transfer folder and this is my uh, model so this extremely so, so this is not too much size here and I can download it easily so I should just transfer drag and drop it to Dialog Siva okay and you see that I have a very large format uh, you should go to the uh, positioning uh, positioning window um, in the left uh, corner of your screen and here you should uh, reduce scale so you should uh, choose uh, zero point. Uh, then you should put here zero point, and you should do this as well. Zero point. Okay, enter. Okay, let's put these boxes on my on my table. Okay, and I'm going to rotate them. As I have uh, right into the my in, into my 3D Max file, okay, like this. Let's calculate the scene. Okay, our calculation is done, and what we see here it's uh, extremely interesting that uh, you see that orientation of our polygons, that polygons um, which we orientated in um, another direction, we don't see in the Alexiva. So this is an example I just showed you uh, that all your uh, normals and all your polygons should be uh, flipped just in one side, like in this box. In, in the most cases, uh, when you work with 3D models, you should um, do it manually. So you download a model in uh, 3ds Studio or in SketchUp, and then you work with it. You reduce the polygon size, and then you uh, work with these polygons, you flip these polygons, and then you download it into Dialog Siva. So, but you can work with large-scale or low-scale models uh, in this way. Uh, 
I showed you a um, quick example. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, write your uh, questions in the comments. Maybe in this in the next videos, I'm going to show you how to work with these models in SketchUp. So write comments or um, uh, write your comments right into our Lighting Design International community in Telegram. I'm going to put link uh, below in this uh, video so you can uh, communicate with uh, other lighting designers and also you can uh, ask some questions uh, there. Uh, see you in the next videos.